You've probably seen this view before. It's a full moon as we see it on Earth. We call this the view from Earth. But from space, the moon would look pretty different. Let's change perspectives and see what it looks like. When we move, the moon begins to look different because we are viewing it from a new position. Now we are viewing Earth and the moon from directly above the North Pole. We call this top view. On Earth, we just saw that the moon was full, but from this perspective, we can see that only half the moon is actually illuminated. However, from this close, we can't see what's illuminating the moon. We have to zoom out to see the sun. Now we can see the entire Earth, moon, and sun system. We call this system view. Of course, this view is not to scale. If it were, the Earth and the moon would be so tiny and close together that we would barely be able to see them on the screen. Even though this perspective is more complicated, it is still the same moon that we were seeing in top view and in view from Earth. It just looks different because we are viewing it from further out in space. And these aren't the only perspectives. We can move around the moon and take a look at the dark side of the moon. Or we can move to look at the moon, Earth, and the sun from the side. Or we can go back to looking at the system from above again. Now let's zoom back in to the view from Earth. Beginning our zoom, we first arrive at top view with just Earth and the moon. Next, we move down to Earth. We are back to seeing the view from Earth, looking at the full moon just as we're used to seeing it. Except now we know that if we are viewing the moon from different perspectives, it can look very different.